I am Jim Collison, and this is the Clifton Strengths Podcast Season 3, recorded on February 9th, 2024. In this Clifton Strengths podcast series, we'll look at how to feel more energized and motivated at work, one theme at a time, and today's theme is Includer. If you're listening live, love to have you join us in chat. If you're listening after the fact, you can always send us an email, uh, questions, or an email with questions. There we go. Coaching at gallup.com. Dr. Jacqueline Robinson is our host today. She works as a senior learning and development consultant. And join me for season one and two of the Clifton Strengths podcast, where we looked at the book Well-Being at Work, as well as all the brand new Clifton Strengths role reports. And Jacqueline, always great to be with you. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. We are spending some time this season looking uh, and uh, and thinking about bringing energy uh, and motivation to work. Today, we're looking at Includer. Let's talk about the individual first. What are ways an individual with Includer can feel more energized by focusing on their basic needs? I think rather than work solo, um, which workplace responsibilities do you have if this is your talent theme that you that that you could partner with somebody else on so that the environment feels more inclusive and you feel more connected day to day? Um, even if it's just connecting on Microsoft Teams or by email or a five minute phone call particularly if you're working remote, what are some of those activities throughout the day where you could loop somebody else in and just feel more connected? I had a partner of mine who I worked with in my early years here at Gallup uh, when I was managing folks who yeah. um, had high includer and she would make sure I'd be like, Hey, I want to put a, I need to put an event together or I'm going to do a meeting. Can you help me get folks in? She would always be very, uh, very thoughtful about uh, just that idea. Did we get everybody? And mm-hmm. then I think beyond did we get everybody pr- prompting me, and this is, we maybe talked about this in the manager section, but prompting me to, have you thought about this? And if you thought about that from a people perspective. So yeah, we, in past seasons of theme Thursday, we talked about sorting how themes sort. And I think this is one that kind of, can sort to the did we get everybody and mm-hmm. not and and not just a, qu- a single question but then thinking through some of the like okay let's make sure like you know before you travel and you're like okay did i get my toothbrush do i have toothpaste yep. <laughs> do I have my retainers you know, <laughs> those kinds my of face things. wash my shampoo yeah yeah just that ability for both themselves and we'll talk a little bit about from a manager perspective for sure what are some ways uh, an individual with Includer can feel more energized by focusing on their individual strength and development? This was a fun one. Um, so as you think about your developmental goals as an Includer, who should you include in your professional network as a mentor, an expert, a coach, maybe an accountability partner? Um, John Maxwell says one of the best questions you can ask is, who do you know that I should know? So as an Includer, this might be a great authentic question for you to build your network and continue to um, develop using the strength that you have as an includer. I love that. I love that, that sentence uh, of that idea. Yeah. We've spent some time uh, talking about these themes in the context of me versus we and includer is one of those, the one of the few, if maybe the only one I can think of right now, where it's maybe both at the same time, it's Mm -hmm. right. Hey, I'm putting it. I'm in this and I want to include people, but it's also the the inclusion of people into things is a benefit to them. Mm-hmm. So it's the me and the we. I, again, I hadn't thought about this before in that in that context, but the me and the we at the same time, and the power of that, uh, you know, the 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 power of that uh, in bringing in your own development. What like in your sentence? Say that sentence again from John Maxwell. How did that? Yes. That? Who do you know that I should know? Yeah, and for what reason? But to learn and grow. Right. Yes. In, in yes. Right. Um, yes. One of the reasons for that. So exactly. Um, what are some ways an individual with uh, Includer can feel more energized by focusing on? Oh no, I already asked that question. Sorry. What are some? I'm a little off today. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep blaming it on the weather. Why everyone just feels sleepy? Yeah, there we go. There yeah. we go. Let's, <laughs> let's ask this question instead. What are some ways an individual with Includer can feel more energized? by building partnerships and finding purpose in their roles. 
Um, well, and includers tend to feel more energized when people of different perspectives and outlooks are coming together to work towards that common goal. So pay attention to where this feeling and this energy is lacking. Then consider mm. who might also be working towards that same common goal. Um, and think about a touch base. How can you bring that individual or those individuals together for a touch base so that you have more synergy in the work and more success in the outcome? Do you, do you think Includer is a natural partnership builder? I mean, is it part of, because we're including other people mm -hmm. and those, those people are certainly going to benefit of us in that. Is it a natural, mm -hmm. just, does it naturally just build partnerships? Do you think? I feel like that's um, a strong lens that they have. And so they'd have that spidey sense of when it's lacking because there's the missing link. We're missing that person that has that perspective that could help us you know, go deeper in this topic or could help yeah. us perform better with this outcome. Yeah. Also, I think uh, seeing those that have been left out in, mm -hmm. in some cases, right? It, it's, it, it may not yes. always be the including of others, but the exclude those that have been excluded and bringing them in to participate as well. I don't know. Would you add anything yeah, to agree. that? I agree. I agree. I, and I feel like that's where they could be strong in partnerships and purpose is who have we excluded that we need to loop in because now we're going to have, we're going to feel on fire. We're going to have that synergy and that energy. Yeah. It's, it's more than we just forgot to invite them to lunch. <laughs> like, exactly. I mean, and that's, yeah. and that's yeah. part of it. I mean, that certainly that those kinds of things build partnerships when we're doing fun events and some of those kinds of things. But at a more serious level of about thinking about, hey, maybe in the past, where have we, for whatever reasons, where have we, how have we excluded these individuals? Mm -hmm. and, and I think about in that question we say in finding purpose in the role. And I think that helps, you know, as we're building teams, that helps put together the purpose yeah. of those teams, right? I don't know, anything else, anything else you'd add before we talk about the manager? I love what you just said. It's, it, really highlights the uh, sense of belongingness that includers can bring in the workplace and that layer of um, just diversity of thought and people yeah. and opinions and talents. Yeah. And energizing that in that process, right? Yes. Do, yes. Doing it in a way that they don't tire. They don't, they, it, it's, you know, continuing to, to work in that way. So let's mm -hmm. shift to the manager role. And I, this is super, now listen, they're all powerful inside these roles, but this one particularly. So um, how can a manager with includers support others with their basic needs? I think about the manager with includer um, being at the table with the team around and getting their thoughts and opinions, including them in the, um, in the goal setting for the quarter or for the year, uh, there's going to be those key responsibilities that you know a manager and a team have to carry out. But maybe there has been a request or two from a different department to say, hey, your team is capable of handling this task, could you do it? Instead of that manager just saying yes, including the opinions of the team. Hey, we had this offer. It's not one of our key priorities or goals. You've got the talent for it, but do you have the scope? Is this something you would want to take on? Um, so that's just an example, but I can see and often do see in, in, in includer managers, including the team <laughs> yeah. when it comes to expectations and getting their feedback on, you know, barriers to their success. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, I think they really spike at work, my opinions seem to count. <laughs> yeah, and we a, can see that in expectations and barriers they might have in the yeah, workplace. That's a great tie to that question uh, yeah. from, our, from our Q12 in, in, in building others up in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, going back to the example I used in the very beginning, of course, I included mm -hmm. very low for me. And I, I, it's not like I wanted to exclude people. I just wasn't naturally, I'm more inclined about, about moving people and things forward. And my yeah. thought was always, they'd come along. I'd catch them as I needed to. It was like more of a net that was moving forward. And so instead of starting with people in mind, we would mm -hmm. just move forward and the net would slowly get, you know, tighter and tighter and tighter. We get, we'd include yeah. everybody as we needed, but it was a great reminder if you don't have it and, and, um, you know, to, I had a partner that had it and it was a great reminder to bring those, bring those people along from the beginning. 
has mm-hmm. some benefits as well. How can a manager with Includer help others feel seen, heard, and valued as an individual? Oh, yes. They could lead by example by demonstrating inclusivity in their interactions with team members and even their fellow colleagues, um, showing the empathy and respect and appreciation that they have for other people and their diverse backgrounds or experiences or perspectives uh, is, is really pretty symbolic of this is what belongingness looks like. This is what inclusion looks like. Yeah. And given managers have that sphere of influence, they're in a really good position by nature in their, their you know, actions and their natural behaviors to just mm-hmm. let that shine through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's got inclusion as part of the definition, right? In there, as mm-hmm. we think about includer and bringing in and help and not just to be on the list, but to be uh-huh. a part of the group, right? To be in, to be on the inside and not looking yeah. out from the outside. How can a manager with Includer uh, build trust, inspire and deepen team collaborations and community, you think? Um, I think by fostering a culture of peer support and mentorship mm-hmm. within the team. Mm-hmm. So use that Includer strength to facilitate connections among those team members who would make really powerful partners based on their different strengths. And that can even lead to more effective teamwork and problem solving because they're, you know, coming from two different angles and looking for opportunities to, um, you know, tackle that responsibility or grow a customer relationship as examples. Do, do you think mentoring is an outcome of, of includer, including if we can make a verb, a, a, yeah. Out of it with includers, mentoring fallen. It seems like that would be a natural conclusion in some ways. Yeah, because they know so many people. They've got it's it's like a woo. They have such a a, a network of wanting to include people that they just yeah. have a lot of people they know. Yeah. And I could see them being able to refer out. Yeah, yeah. Well, and and you know that the act of mentoring right is multiplication of mm-hmm. uh, right. So uh, yes, I know this, but then I'm going to mentor mm-hmm. someone you could use the word coaching in there as well i think maybe yeah um but or they would know I, who would make a good mentor yeah right. based on that individual's right. perspectives because mm-hmm. they've got that network yeah of wanting to be so inclusive just think about that deepened team collaboration idea and building that collaboration through mentoring Mm-hmm. I just think mm-hmm. there's some great opportunities there. How can a manager with includers support the growth of, of each team member? Uh, encouraging the team to build connections with one, their own team, their intact team, but also with cross-functional teams. So they can create a psychologically safe and engaging space for that to take place. It could be through an on-site lunch uh, or maybe a virtual or on-site retreat with breakouts and activities. And then they could even have a team member or two from that cross-functional team, you know, drop in as a special guest in the retreat and share out what they're working on or um, how they're going to support that intact team this quarter or this year. But the efforts that they put forth to create that deeper sense of belongingness can help in building trust and rapport and make it easier for team members to learn and grow from one another. So even going back to that mentorship piece you just said, um, they can learn and grow from one another through feedback and recognition. We often think about this in the context of maybe a corporate team or or, or even a volunteer team. But I think mm-hmm. it's, as you were saying these things, I was thinking even about my own role uh, with customers and how mm-hmm. someone with high includer could also be a great partner, a partner for me or a leader in thinking through how are we making sure we're not leaving our customers out? of these decisions, right? We're, yes. we're, we're doing this for them. That's, yeah. the whole, that's the whole reason we're doing this. How do we make sure, and I know for me with, with low includer, I often take a lot of feedback from the community to say, hey, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? What about mm-hmm. this? I rely on that. Can't, I, of course, can't act on or do everything, but, but, uh, but think through, hey, are we including everyone in these kind of, or, and in some cases, are we just considering it? Right. Because mm-hmm. you, you can't do everything. You, you end up creating a monster if you try to do absolutely everything. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. But, you know, I just I, I, I think about that in the context of customers as well. So maybe maybe to ex- for someone who says, well, maybe I don't manage a team. Well, maybe you manage your, your customers or uh, and this would maybe go back to last season's role based reports. You know, maybe you're in retail and you 
including the customer in the conversation on mm -hmm. sales for whatever. Yeah. Jacqueline, as we wrap it up, final thoughts as we think about Includer? Well, we know Includers tend to get energy from creating that inclusive environment. Um, so you are really adept at being able to enable people to feel like they belong. Uh, it brings you energy, but you can lose your energy if you're including so many people that you're you know, almost overworked or stretched too thin in trying to maintain those connections. So in those cases, take a pause just to really self-reflect and consider, does this person need to be in the room? Does this person need to be in the meeting? Or am I including just for includers sake? Uh, because if you can free up their time and space when we're in this meeting, he meeting heavy environment, <laughs> they're probably going to be very happy about it. Yeah. Uh, so just pay attention to your own energy levels of where you're finding it and where you're not. It might actually be lacking in energy if you've spread yourself too thin. Mm. Love that. I think with that, we'll remind everyone to take full advantage of all the resources we have available in Gallup Access. Uh, some on Gallup.com too. So you can go to my.gallup.com or you just go to Gallup.com. Hit the search mm -hmm. a button or resources tab and search Includer. And all the resources we have available will show up for you and lots of great learning ahead. For coaching, master coaching, or becoming a Gallup Certified Strengths Coach, we, uh, we do that. We can help you with that. Send us an email, coaching at gallup.com. If you want to join us for the 2024 Gallup at Work Summit, either in person, love to see you in Omaha, or virtually, um, you can sign up today, gallupatwork.com. If it's past June of 2024, I bet we have our next instance of it. Sign up for mm -hmm. the email updates, those kinds of things we'd love to see here. Stay up to date on all the future webcasts by joining our Facebook or LinkedIn groups. You can find us on any social platform by searching Clifton Strengths. And if you've enjoyed it, we'd ask that you hit the like and subscribe button. And by all means, share it. We'd love to have you do that as well. Thanks for listening today. If, you, uh, if you're listening live, stay around for a little bit of some mid-show. And with that, we'll say goodbye, everybody.